Hello. Today I'm going to talk about a book. I'm reading a book that's uh, very good. I'll show it to you here. It's uh, called Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. I haven't finished reading it, but it's very good. Uh, and I thought it might make an interesting lesson. Trevor Noah is a South African comedian. He's got a TV show in America, a uh, com uh, comedy show, Day the Daily, The Daily Show, I think it's called, on every day. Um, and uh, anyway, it's, it's a satirical comedy program. But what's interesting about him, many interesting things, but as you can see from his picture, uh, he's from, well, maybe you can tell, he's from South Africa. And uh, he grew up during apartheid. Apartheid was the, maybe you know, the, the racist system where the white people were in the government and uh, black people were kept separate and white people had all the power and black people had none. And uh, it's called Born a Crime because it was illegal for, uh, for couples to get married if they were different races. And it was illegal to have a baby if we had a black mother and a white father or the other way around. Crazy. Uh, anyway, I wanted to share with you just uh, one, one page, this page here. Uh, I'll read it for you just to give you a taste of the book. It's got some difficult words in, but we can talk about it when I see you next. Uh, so this system is called apartheid, the system, the racist system in, in South Africa. Okay, I'll just read it for you. Apartheid, for all its power, had fatal flaws baked in, starting with the fact that it never made any sense. Racism is not logical. Consider this, Chinese people were classified as black in South Africa. I don't mean that they were running around acting black. They were still Chinese, but unlike Indians, they, there weren't enough Chinese people to warrant devising a whole separate classification. Apartheid, despite its intricacies and precision, didn't know what to do with them. So the government said, eh, we'll just call them black. It's simpler that way. Interestingly, at the same time, Japanese people were labelled as white. The reason for this was that the South African government wanted to establish good relations with the Japanese in order to import their fancy cars and electronics. So Japanese people were given honorary white status while Chinese people stayed black. I always like to imagine being a South African policeman who likely couldn't tell the difference between Chinese and Japanese, but whose job was to make sure that people of the wrong color weren't doing the wrong thing. If he saw an Asian person sitting on a whites only beach, what would he say? Hey, get off that beach, you Chinaman. Uh, excuse me, I'm Japanese. Oh, oh, I apologize, sir. I didn't mean to be racist. Have a lovely afternoon. So, as you can see, it was kind of crazy. Uh, so they would say that Chinese people were black, but Japanese people were white. It, it makes no sense. Racism makes no sense. And that's the point of this book, and uh, how it doesn't make any sense. And now he's a very popular comedian in America. It's quite funny. Uh, and an interesting story. And he talks a lot about his mother and um, his mother was quite a remarkable, amazing lady. She was black. His father was a white Swiss man from Switzerland, I think. Uh, anyway, anyway, I, was, I thought it was interesting. Um, so it brings up three questions, kind of the topic of race and racism. Number one, well, an easier one. What do you know about South Africa? I don't know much. Number two, have you ever experienced racism? Uh, number three, is it important to fight racism? What can people do to fight racism if so? <laughs> Those three questions. That might be hard to remember. Let me share the screen so you can see them. There we go. I'm making a book for a, 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 that's in here. Here we go. Here we go. So down here. What do you know about South Africa? Number two, have you ever experienced racism? Three, is it important to fight racism? What can people do to fight racism? So, okay. Right, thank you very much. And uh, I will see you uh, soon. Okay, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to find the right button to turn this off. Hold on, here we go. Okay, stop recording. Okay, see you soon.